Well, it's a chilly feeling day across the QCA, but we're going to make up for it tomorrow. On Thursday, we'll see highs in the 50s. Here's how we get there. Clear skies for the early part of our Wednesday evening will become cloudy. You see those clouds off to the west. Those will move through uh, later tonight. We can time that out on exact track. We get to 11. Here comes the leading edge of the clouds for much of the area, and that cloud cover stays with us overnight, either partly to mostly cloudy skies through the night. But more importantly, by morning, our winds are already turning to the south, so overnight, our temperatures will actually be on the rise and as we head toward 40 degrees around daybreak, we'll eventually get to the low 50s for highs on Thursday afternoon and during the afternoon, those mostly cloudy skies will start to squeeze out a little bit of rain and that rain will continue into the evening, tapering off later Thursday night and into early Friday before our next round of weather comes and that could be a winter storm, but it starts with more rain on Friday before turnover to ice and then snow Friday night into Saturday. So soak up these temperatures, enjoy it. Wow, upper 40s along Highway 20, low 50s to maybe some mid 50s north of Interstate 80, south of Interstate 80, a low to mid 50s, and those mid 50s become more widespread towards southeastern Iowa. In the metro, we'll shoot for about 51 or 52 officially with mostly cloudy skies and windy conditions. South winds at 20 bring in the warm air, but they also gust to around 30. And in the afternoon toward the evening, rain will develop. Check out the seven day 41 on Friday, rain back at us, and then we could see a rain, snow, ice mix Friday night. Uh, that ice that uh, starts us off on Saturday will turn over to snow. Some of that could be heavy. High Saturday about 30 degrees, 31 Sunday as we dig out from whatever snow we get. We'll keep highs mainly in the 30s next week. Tuesday brings some more rain and snow. 20s after that.